watch your speed. I hear Mexican police target tourists. Not a problem. If anything goes down, we just put Cooper Polly in the driver's seat and slap a sombrero on his head. Dude, how many races can you offend in a single breath? I don't know. You watch the Olympics with me? So, can you believe that we're driving in a van that was owned by one of the greatest scientific minds of the 20th century? It's like the Batmobile. <laughs> if Batman was real. And a physicist. And his car wasn't cool. <laughs> It is extraordinary. Perhaps some of his mojo will rub off on us. Maybe between this and his beach house, you'll be inspired to greatness. I usually don't put too much stock in charms and talismans. However, even I must admit, feeling Richard Feynman's butt dent cupping my own bottom. <laughs> it does get the creative juices flowing. Hey, I have to return this van. Keep your creative juices in your pants. <laughs> what was that? Look, it's a tire. What if it's Bandito shooting at us? What if we get kidnapped? What if we end up in a factory making Bart Simpson pinatas for the rest of our lives? It's the tire. Leonard. What? I'm getting too old for this crud. When did you learn how to change a tire? Uh, every self-respecting gentleman should know how, in case he comes across a damsel in distress by the side of the road. If I see one scorpion, I am getting on someone's shoulders and never coming down. And there's your damsel. <laughs> wow, this one's really stuck. Are you turning it the right way? No. I took the other four off, and when I got to this one, I thought, no, I'm gonna rut. Let's shake things up. Well, here, let me try. <laughs> You're right, it doesn't turn the other way. <laughs> <laughs> 